what is up everybody and welcome to tool talk my name is sam and uh this uh portion of the channel uh i do come here on saturdays i go inside the trucks i clean up all the trucks and organize them up a little bit and i take a tool out put it in this table and i start talking about it this is the latest uh camera i purchased um from uh, uh, the guys at Dynamic Repair, 50 Arnott Street in Lodi. Uh, my friend Mark, uh, he's a really, really good guy. I asked uh, one of my vendors and he's also my friend. Uh, told me a lot of good things about this camera. And um, Mark is great because, you know, he carries the parts for the stuff he sells. You know, anything breaks over here, he has it in stock, you know, very little downtime. So that's what I like about him. And he can fix all types of cameras. Uh, uh, and uh, you can bring any camera to him. And then uh, if he has to wait for a part or uh, it'll take a couple of days for a big repair, uh, he has all the cameras there so that he can lend you or rent you or lend you. That way uh, you can walk out with another camera and get back to work, you know, no downtime while your camera is being repaired, which I think is really cool. So if you're a drain cleaner, Ginger, sorry I have my dog today. If you are a drain cleaner in the North Jersey area, um, go check it out. Dynamic Repair in Lodi, New Jersey. And this is a VVAX camera, uh, model VX112. It's about 125 feet of reel, and it fixes two problems for me, okay? Number one is cost, and number two is uh, size. As you can see, it's very compact. And it's kind of very, uh, the design of it, you know, it's, 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 it's got carbon fiber on this side, which I like. It just looks, you know, something you can bring to a customer's house and, and not you know the customer maybe not be disgusted by it you know like the big real cameras with you know all dirty and stuff you know it's got carbon fibers it's, it's kind of for a camera this is kind of luxurious if you ask me you know it, it's really cool looking and all the materials that they use um so uh what else uh so well, here's the most important things that i think this is what what attract me to this camera is that number one as you know i am structuring my company uh to have smaller trucks i'm trying to use transit 250s or uh pro masters 2500 low roof shorts uh, i'm kind of so i'm kind of limited with room going that route and that's why this is you know takes a lot less space and it's strong enough to do four inch lines, which is 95% of our work. And especially if you're gonna do residential, you're gonna be dealing with four inch lines, or approximately 60 feet in my, at least in my area, uh, North Jersey. And uh, the other cool thing about it is, um, you can take this apart. If anything breaks, let me take this off. Is the brakes yeah what's up Chris hey everything's all done over there all right cool can go to base now all right thanks all right so we got here yeah let me go put some gloves on Okay, so we're back. So here is the uh, the cable, you know, really, really tough. It's good, so it's, it's good enough for four inch pipe. And uh, I should probably clean this, wipe this off or something. Uh, these camera heads, they screw right off and you can put small camera heads. I'll show you in a little bit. This other spring over here also comes off and the zone locator is not inside here but back here which is really cool because all this swinging around the transmitter is not being 
you know molested or whatever all you have here is the, basically the cable and the two safety uh, wires screw it hand tight as a gasket right in between which I told Mark to get me a few of them just in case and uh, well that is uh, pretty cool so the, just the fact that you can just take things apart and change you know the, the, the head unit is divided between three uh, I mean actually two pieces it's actually I like that about it you know so I'm gonna open this it comes with DVD standard two skits you know all that other stuff now here's the power supply now this battery and this camera will give you two hours of recording the guys come here every Friday plug it in you'll never run out of uh, you know it's very unlikely to do two hours of footage I mean yeah two hours of, of footage in a week uh, all right so this is the smaller camera that I was telling you about so that's what really drove me to this unit because I normally run in my trucks the big reel which is I don't know, double the size of this and the rigid micro reel uh, which is about a little smaller than this so you know a, a, a decent reel like uh, you know a rigid or a, a decent reel full-size reel uh, camera reel will cost you an average of uh, you know, seven eight thousand dollars for you know a good brand let's say and uh, the rigid micro reel will cost you about three thousand thirty five hundred so you're looking at about almost eleven thousand dollars just to ride with those two units and this is this is what made this the perfect package because it is big enough to go into the four inch lines and is small enough to go to a kitchen sink uh, uh, line or if you have a double sink two pipes coming in down and down a T you can have the camera on this side and you'll be able to guide the snake down the pipe that's another situation so you know less money one unit doing both things so that is to me a no-brainer it's pretty good what else All right. so about what the camera brings from the factory you can see here a DVD you know probably never get to use that USB uh, and a few other things this is uh, I don't know a hundred feet of <laughs> cigarette lighter power I don't think why would you ever need that but hey they give it to you that's okay and here is your uh, regular cord screwdriver to remove the uh, the uh, skids and uh, that's it it is very simple USB uh, sticks you connect them down the back give them to the customer and you're done simple no problems so the only drawback or let's say the only bad thing I that I don't really like much is the skid that they give you um, it is this and it to me is just like super aggressive uh, especially in the area where I am at you know where we have a lot of clay pipe terracotta and a lot of stuff we also have a lot of berry traps, a lot of uh, berry check valves. If you have this kit and you <laughs> you have this kit on and you went through a check valve, game over. You know, find a check valve and dig it up. Uh, a lot of people here, uh, they just, if they're going to do some flooring, they just cover everything. They'll cover check valve, clean out. So they don't care. They don't know. And, and sometimes... You may approach a check valve and it's full of garbage. You cannot really make that it's a check valve. You go past it and you know, with the other cameras that have the skid kind of in a cone shape type, you can kind of wiggle it off, but you pass the check valve or get stuck on a, on a pipe on this, you know, it could take you a little bit, you know, a check valve, you'll never get it out. So I don't think you will. Uh, I'm just saying that it's probably way, could it be cone shape this way to my liking you know that's what I think everything else is pretty standard the brakes and uh, um, 
you know it, it is it has a really pretty rigid construction um, I want to also say uh, say hi to uh, uh, one of uh, the guys that watches the channel which is uh, uh, just drains out of Philadelphia uh, learn to trade uh, thank you for watching uh, thank you for leaving me that wonderful message and uh, I will continue doing this video. So very thank you for your support and, and, and thank you for watching my videos. All right, so let's do a comparison here in size. So here is the real, the standard reel right here. Now this camera here is a spare camera. Uh, I just keep it here. Just in case we need it. There is Ginger, is my golden doodle. She doesn't feel that comfortable here, right, Mama? How you doing? You okay? I'm taking you home soon. Mama is not home, so I'm taking you home, okay? Deal? Is that it? That's this, but that's what you wanted. Okay, there you go. Good. All right, so here they are. Pretty big difference, huh? Look at this thing. Here's one thing very important I want you to think about, and. You, if you have guys out on the road, you just got to make, it's just not working right, okay, i lock this up, all right, we're good, so just, just, just look at, especially if you're doing a lot of residential work, you know, look, how much easier it is to bring this to a customer's house than this, now let's keep in mind, you, 90% of the times you're gonna be going down the basement. Let me face this up a little bit. All right, so, most of the times you'd be going in the basements, right? And now you're in a customer's house, you, you, you gotta remember how awkward it is to carry these things, okay? Down somebody's basement. Even if you didn't have this head unit on, which you can actually take it off. But, I'm not gonna do that, it's all safe tied together and everything, but just think about opening a door and swinging around this, going downstairs in the basement, right? And now you gotta remember you have your booties on, right? Because you're in a, in a residential home. <sighs> okay, my mom, I'm almost leaving, hold on. Because you're in a residential home, so you don't have that ultimate grip. Right, so, so now you're swinging these things around, you got booties on, you got gloves on, down the customer's uh, 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 stairs, and boom. You hit the wall. And now you cause a little bit of damage on the sheet rock. And okay, you may get lucky and the customer say, hey, don't worry about that, I was, but you may get a customer, or you will get a customer say, hey, you know what, you have to fix that. I just painted this. Uh, and, and you got to repair that scratch you did on the, on the she rock. And now that job, that camera inspection you were doing for that customer is no longer profitable because you got to hire now a painter to come and fix this. So that's one of the things to think about versus this, okay? Look at the difference. I mean, I can even have another tool here on my other hand and go down the, 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 the basement and the stairs, see? Here is where the USB or whatever you want to use, SD, here's all the connections are right here. It is watertight. And there's your monitor. So you got here, look how big these buttons are. Just in case you're working in the cold, uh, you'll be able you know to have your gloves on you'll be able to push all of these buttons uh he's got the mic feature mama hold on. Yes, yes. so he's got all the uh the zone locator he's got your recording which i like doing i just typing just wasn't a good thing for me just press the button say what you want to say and uh, actually let me turn it on just so you can see won't be able to make the resolution or whatever but you have your record button. The zoom is only a camera, uh, I'm sorry, a monitor kind of uh, amplifying feature. You have your counter reset and you know, a simple, just a simple machine. You can take it anywhere. It does not take much room in the truck. 
and you can maneuver around the customer's house better than these monsters uh, nowadays. So, all right, let's put it back on the table. Right, Mama? Okay. All right, so there you have it. I got this camera. Uh, it's been, I think, about three weeks now. No problems at all. Uh, as far as durability goes, I cannot tell you. I mean, uh, um, I am not the person that, to tell you, uh, oh, well, whatever millimeter cable, foot per pound, resolution, da, da, da. I don't do any of that. I buy these tools. I trust my vendors when they tell me they have a good product and I purchase them. And I throw them in the field. You know, I put them to use. Uh, like I said before, uh, we really put a beating on this equipment. I mean, we do about, on every truck, two to five inspections, uh, different situation of inspections every day. And I live, like I said, I live around a lot of old cities. So, you know, we, we step into houses and buildings built on the 1800s you know, 1890s and things like that, where, you know, there were not plumbing codes at that time. People build their own houses back then by themselves. And, you know, there's no, no, no long sweep PVC four inch pipe like we have today, you know, it's not that smooth. So you got to sometimes work these things extra hard to get them down the pipe and they are offsets and, and, and sometimes you just look down and then you just see a pipe. You, there's no not even leverage for the cable to, to, to go forward. There, sometimes there's no wires or things like that. So we put a really good beating in these machines. Um, and to me, to my standards, uh, you know, if it lasts six months without a problem, it passes the test. Uh, that, that's my standards, you know. Um, and you know it's good to have a, a vendor that you know have the parts in stock you know just 10 minutes away helps a lot that's what i really uh i really buy i buy you know the vendor and and, and the customer service is what i really go after uh, so there you have it uh those are the problems these vivax uh these this new camera uh is is fixing for me and uh, if you have any questions, put it in the comments below. Thank you for watching the video. Like and subscribe. And uh, till the next one.